Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm here to give you guys an update when it comes to the ratings for the second season of Batwoman. The second season of Batwoman which has had horrible ratings since the very first episode premiered all the way back in January. Now, as we've seen, as this season has gone on, the ratings keep getting lower. Now, there have been points where the ratings have gone up a bit, but in, more, in some of the more recent episodes, the ratings keep getting lower and lower and lower, and I mean a lot lower than before. Now, the last, week, last week's episode, Season 2, Episode 12, had the lowest ratings, excuse me, at 0.426. Lower, lower by 24% from the previous episode. However, as you can see from the official ratings, it is at 0.399. It has officially fallen below the 400,000 mark and it is in the 300,000s. Now, I, I told you guys before that for any show, once they get to this point, when it comes to the ratings, that's when you'll see it start to fall off a cliff. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe the next episode is going to jump up in the ratings. It has been done before, although I still think there's, there's something a little bit weird about this. Like, there's something about this that didn't really make a lot of sense. But the chances of that happening are a lot lower than they were before. And the chances of it dropping off a cliff are even higher than they were before once it is in the 300,000s. Now, if you were at the live stream that I had yesterday, then we, you would have been there when we took a look at the preliminary ratings. And if I remember correctly, the preliminary ratings were at 0.385, if I remember correctly. So it did get adjusted up. And, to, and now it's at 0.399. Now it's just, just a little bit below the... 400,000 the 400,000 mark but it's but it is still officially lower and although if you can see the uh, demographic it did actually jump up by about 10% it went from 0.10 to 0.11 not by much but it still went up and yeah again this is bad woman season 2 is in trouble well it has been in trouble for a while but now it's officially in trouble and keep in mind this got renewed for a third season a show that has abysmal ratings, and I mean abysmal ratings, is renewed for a second season, or has been renewed for, for, renewed for a second season. I think it, they renewed it, if I remember correctly, back when the series first premiered. They said, oh yeah, yeah, there's going to be a third season. Congratulations, dumb shits. Now you got to make a, a third season of this crap. A third season of a show that nobody's watching. Congratulations, go ahead and you might as well just burn your money at this point. And you know what, again, I, I know a lot of people might feel bad for the CW, but I don't feel bad. They did this to themselves. They're the ones who chose to go out there and make a show that is enjoyed by nobody, except for whatever is left of the, uh, the audience. It's like, and even then, those people are, are leaving because, you know what, I don't care what your what the show's message is. The, the show sucks. The show is boring. It's full of unlikable characters, and it's and they're in a, in a story that honestly is just it's not compelling at all. So why the fuck would I tune in? So they don't. And keep in mind, in case anyone doesn't know, this uh, I know this shows that uh, we're we're at the uh, the last episode. But no, no. In case you don't know, there's six more episodes. Six more episodes, and this is where the ratings are. I'm telling you, you're going to see it fall, fall, far, far off a cliff. And again, they have no one to blame but themselves. So anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update when it comes to the ratings, the official final ratings, and it is it has officially dropped below the 400,000, and it is in the 300,000 mark. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, please remember to like the video, share the video, and please subscribe if you haven't. And also remember to click on the bell icon, especially to let you notify, so that way you can be notified when I post a brand new video. 
and I feel like that's particularly important now because YouTube, I don't know what the hell's going on with their notification system, but it is insanely broken. So just remember to click on the bell icon because that, that, because that is the best way to be notified whenever I post a new video or whenever I go live. That is all I have to say, guys. Remember to stay safe and take care of yourselves as always, and please join me for the next one. Bye for now.